so this video might be shorter than usual, and a little different to the other ones that I've done. I've had this idea in my head for a few years now, ever since playing Resident Evil 7. Also, the new Evil Dead game on the horizon made me feel... Bleh, as in, it has potential to be fun, but it looks like a Left 4 Dead game mixed with Friday the 13th, which are both great games, but not what I would have went for. Instead, I would love for the game to go full single player, and have the movie style, and take the classic survival horror route, sort of like Resident Evil 7. Anyway, this is just game concepts I guess, I'm not quite sure about the title just yet. Ever since playing Resident Evil 7, for the first half of the game I was thinking, why hasn't there been a modern take based around the first two Evil Dead movies, but in a similar style to this game? There's loads of references anyway that suggest the setting is heavily inspired. So how would this game work? Well, I know that there was an early survival horror game already on the PS1 called Hail to the King, but looking back at it, you can see it has a few issues. It was a bit too linear and strived away from the films and the classic location. I think if it took the concept from the first two films, as in, try to survive until morning without striving too far away, it would benefit from this. All the Resi games seem to do this, but towards the end of the game, whereas that game strives off from the cabin and the woods. In terms of the camera, as much as I love fixed camera angles, I think for my version it would work best if it was first person, as there's a lot more stuff going on. So how else would you progress in this game I hear you ask? Well, it would go one of two ways. One, you have to wait it out until the next day. There could be some kind of time constraint maybe. After all, everyone loves the timer in Dead Rising, don't they? Or maybe it forces you to leave your comfort zone. You might use up all of the items on the ground floor of the cabin and have to make yourself go in the dark basement. This could make you have to lock and unlock the entrance, as seen in the films. To further this, the lock might break over time so you have to be constantly juggling where you use your resources and at what time. The big issue would be the plot. Would it take place in the same timeline as the films, with all the characters we know, or would it benefit from an original bunch of idiots in a forest? Everyone would want Ash to be in it for sure, but then I thought, wouldn't it be a lot better if it was an all new cast? You could maybe say, have an option of controlling 3-4 to four characters who stay in the lodge. That way, if your character dies, you could swap over, similar to how Until Dawn and Obscure do things. Also, this is a little bit controversial, but I feel like the horror would benefit if Ash wasn't in the game. He's a bit of a superhero, kind of, in that he never dies. In terms of actual story, I think it would work best if it was true to the films. Bridges breaking, miles of forest, and a group of friends that just came up for a short break. One of the biggest issues that I had with the upcoming game is that it showed an awful lot of enemies, like electric ones and brutes, etc. Again, I think that overcomplicates things, as in the films, there were only a few demons, but they kept reappearing, making for a more on-the-edge-of-your-seat stuff. Another thing to note, the demons have the ability to manipulate and taunt humans in the films. This kind of stuff is exactly what a horror game needs. Next up, it got me thinking who would be the right developers for this game. Well, in theory, there's a few to choose from. The upcoming actual Evil Dead game is made by Sabre Interactive, who have a decent portfolio when it comes to horror games. The obvious choice would be Capcom with their track record of survival horror. Another great alternative would be for an indie developer to pick it up. They could take the more simplistic approach, and dare I say it, maybe implement minor crafting elements. We haven't had one of those for a while. Now moving on to the weapons. Obviously there has to be a chainsaw involved, because Evil Dead. But it got me thinking, what is my favourite gunplay from a game that I find suspenseful? Well, straight away my mind went to Condemned. I loved this game when finding a firearm. It was kind of a big deal. Also, to make things worse, you had to bullet count, there was nothing on the screen to indicate how much ammo you had. Imagine that though, you hear a demon about to enter the room, and you were frantically running around looking for a weapon like a madman. This would totally spice up the gameplay. Let's talk about enemies. They could act similar to the film The Thing, also a pretty good horror game. Taking on survivors could come at a risk, as if they die, they become possessed. You are able to lock away injured allies, but the rooms you put them in could affect the way you play. They might become demons, so will you place them in a room that you have to access regularly? That's the gamble. Within the areas, we would expect to see a similar layout to Resident Evil 7, in that it makes use of predominantly one major location. Of course you could go to others, but I think the scare factor would be for you to leave your comfort zone. If we were to go for upgrades in this game, it would be cool if you had to run outside quickly to the work shed, like in the film. In my head, it would already act as a safe room, like in Resident Evil. I guess the upgrades would be small modifications to the weapons, like a torch attached to the gun. That would be a good way of getting the player out of the cabin, but with the added threat of the fog coming towards you. In terms of items and weapons, well, we could once again look at the movie. If the player runs out of materials to use on the doors and windows, there are plenty of trees in the woods, so that's an option that would be great. Also, let's look at the health system. It could work like in other games, where it's just a bar or an indication. 
Or, how about we follow the themes of the Evil Dead series of mental well-being? That's right, why not throw in a sanity meter? It would work for most of the game. Every time the enemies get close, the character could freak out and the aiming could be more challenging. It could be cool if there were some light puzzle elements at some point. A way for this to work would be to include a system in place where every time you dispose of a hard to kill demon, they leave behind a small transcript that could be used on the Book of the Dead. In my head, I'm sort of thinking about Bioshocks or Fallout hacking minigames. Get the code right and you get access to a room with a few goodies inside. Get the code wrong and the bomb goes off. Oh no, sorry, that's a different game. Get the code wrong and maybe this could set off a possessed item in the cabin or weird things start to happen. So there we have it. Looking back at everything that I mentioned in this video has made me want to play this totally made up game. Now to end this, I have to think of a title for this masterpiece. Hmm, let's go with Evil Dead Immortalized. I'll let someone else take care of that. What do you think? Would you play this game? It's a bit of a different one, but I think that someone could seriously get the ball rolling with this idea. I hope this video doesn't bite me in the arse if the new Evil Dead game turns out to be exactly like this. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe. Also, if you can think of other films that are begging to be made into a game, let me know. Thanks for stopping by, and have a wonderful day.